There's a leader of WIP who is the Diversity Award that is someone that we're very proud of, Annette Taddeo, who's president and CEO of Language Speak out of Miami. Annette, everyone I think knows this amazing story of a woman that was born in this country, grew up in Columbia, has started her business, and in 12 years has been named every major award, particularly in the Hispanic arena, has been truly on CBS and ABC and featured Latina Excellent Award by Hispanic Magazine, Latina, Latina Extraordinaire. And Annette, I just want to say what Magda said about each of the three of you is exemplified. It was so important when these awards were decided that it was someone that had grown their business, someone who had been a mentor to so many other women, and someone who had really given back to their community. So as we recognize the three of you today to know so much of what you have done to support others and to give back in so many ways to the community, Annette Taddeo, Diversity Award winner, WIP 2007. Thank you. I am honored to receive the award. Thank you, Edie, and, and thank you, Barbara. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you to all of you at WIP for recognizing diversity and the importance that it represents today. You know, today's a very special day for me. Today, um, um, a press release went out from Yahoo and Telemundo. Uh, they are uh, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and they selected eight uh, people from across the country, not necessarily business leaders, but just different people that they thought were making a difference in the Hispanic community, and I was one of those. And. Uh, <laughs> And it was an interesting uh, experience to be followed around with a camera all day long. Of course, I made sure that I talked about WIP and WeBank and every woman's organization that I belong to. I even set up a WeBank meeting on purpose with all these certified women business owners to talk about the importance of being a certified woman business owner, just so that it could get on camera and get on yahoo.com. <laughs> so always trying to do my job to try to get more women certified and more women to do business with corporate America and with the United States government. I do want to tell you a story. It, it was filmed in Spanish, and um, probably my company, since it's a translation company, will go ahead and translate it and put subtitles on it or something, so that when I send you guys the link, you'll be able to understand what was said. I will tell you that, a story that I said on, on film that a lot of you know me, but don't know this story. I was born in Colombia. I was not born in the United States. However, I am a natural born citizen. So unlike Governor Schwarzenegger, I don't have to change the laws if I were to ever run for president. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that, however, when I moved to the United States and went to college, I never knew that I wasn't really viewed as an American because I was raised by a father who was an American, fought in World War II and Korea, and so I was always viewed in Colombia as the gringa. And so to come to the United States and all of a sudden be viewed as a Hispanic and as an outsider was an awakening for me. I became very quickly very involved in college, joined a sorority, did all the things you're supposed to do. You know, I always am very um, socially involved, as you guys know, and, uh, and always doing things to help the community. That obviously upset a few people. I immediately decided that I was going to run for secretary of the Student Government Association of my college. I ran, I put the posters up, I was doing very well, according to the polls, no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, <laughs> the day of the election, I woke up 
and was on my way to class, and my posters all said Annette Tadio for secretary. But that morning, the secretary portion was crossed out, and it said Annette Tadio for deportation. To say the least, I lost that election. But that day changed my life. And it didn't change my life in a negative way. It really changed my life in a positive way. It changed me because it made me want to succeed even more. And my company got started to help corporations communicate. Communicate with the world. Communicate with the globe in languages. And my company has been very successful at that. And we're going through some very difficult times in our country, very divisive times against Hispanics specifically. And I take it very personal at times when you hear people in Congress saying, those people, those people. They are referring to me when they say those people. It is not just illegals. It is all those people. So I ask you to just think twice before you talk about those people. Because we all, except for the Native Americans and the ones who came on a boat against their will, we all came from somewhere. And this country was formed by immigrants. And I just think that we are trying to be very divisive in our country. And we need leaders that will, are willing to stand up and realize that we are all those people. And we are all. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, thank you to WIP for your leadership and for having the courage to stand up for diversity. As we conclude this part of the program and go on to our government.